In this video, we are going to learn how to calculate the surface area of a shape. When you read the word surface area, think carefully about that word. Well, it's saying surface, okay, so the surface means on the outside. For example, if you look at the ocean, when you're talking about the surface of the ocean, you're talking about the layer on the top. You're not talking about what's on inside, it's all about what's on the top of the ocean. So, surface means on the outside. Then, area, well we know what area means. For example, if I have a square over here, the area is all of this inside here. So what they're actually saying is find the area of everything on the outside. So if you had to look at this box over here, it's a 3D box, imagine you wanted to paint every single surface on that box. Well that means you'd paint everything on the outside. So quickly pause the video and see if you can calculate or see if you can work out how many different surfaces would you have to paint. Well that would be six different surfaces, right? And so you would go ahead and you would, usually they would give you dimensions and then you'd go work out the area of each part. And so what you would end up having to do is calculate the area of each individual square or rectangle. It could be a rectangle. And so you'd calculate each separate part. And so let's say we start off in the front of the shape. So we're standing in front of this box and what we would see is a red square like that over there and so we would simply have to work out the area of that shape then we could maybe step over to or let, let's say that the area of that first part let's assume it's a square so the red square let's say that its area was four now we can step to the side where we see a green square and then let's say we calculate the area of that one and that gives us an area of four then we look for example we go to the very back of this cube or the shape and what we see is the orange square and we can let's say that that one's area is also because in the case of a square if they all squares well because they're all fitting together they would typically have the same area and then you could see how we would step around and step around we would still get to the blue square and the black square and then on the very bottom there is a purple square and let's say each of their areas were four now in class, they're typically going to talk about the total surface area. So total just means all together. So you would just add all of that together and you'd end up with 24. And usually that would give us centimeters or something like that. So we'd have 24 centimeters squared, for example, as the total surface area. So area is all about what's on the outside.